second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In one of our previous videos, we have shown how to use Atmega 328P IC as a standalone circuit. burn bootloader and upload code. In the same video, we had designed custom PCB board to make it more compact and easy to use. Today, I have received the PCBs. This will be the part second of the video where we'll solder all the components and show the final working. All the components required for this project are shown in my part first video. Now I'll start soldering these components. So after soldering, this is how our compact standalone Arduino circuit looks. On the right side, we have six analog pins and have kept VCC ground and reset separate. On the left, there are 14 digital pins. This is a power indicator. And to power the entire circuit, we can use 6 to 12 volt supply which can be connected on the screw terminal connector. Moving on to the software side, first we have to burn the bootloader on this custom PCB board. So I'll use one more Arduino Uno board which is already converted to ISP programmer. So I'll make the connections. Connect to computer. And I'll burn bootloader using Arduino IDE. So after this, we can upload any of the required project code and use it for the application. For example, I'll upload LED blink code for digital pin 10 so the code is uploaded I'll remove all the connections and connect the LED bulb on digital pin 10 and ground finally I'll provide 8 volt supply using lithium ion cells So in this way, you can use this compact Arduino Uno in your projects. That's all for this video. I'll provide the PCB Gerber file download link in the description box. And also I have some extra printed circuit boards. If you are interested, you can reach out to us on mail or Instagram. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next one.